Hey guys, Greg here. Recently, E3 came and went, and as with such an event, a ton of games were announced. So I decided to create a short list of my top 10 games that I was interested in. The rules I set forth are 1. Gameplay representation of gameplay must have been shown. Number 2. The game must have a release date before the next E3. And that's it. Now I must say, these are my picks and my picks only. If you share my opinion, great. If not, please feel free to tell me in the comments below what your top 10 games were. With that out of the way, let's begin with number 10. Mass Effect Andromeda. As a big fan of this franchise, I was quite pleased to see actual footage of the game. This time around though, seems less about saving the Earth and the humans and more about exploration. I'm curious to see where they take us within the Milky Way galaxy and if we'll meet an entirely new species. If that's the case, then I'm very excited to play Mass Effect Star Trek. Number 9, Scalebound. This game was first announced at last year's E3 and people were confused as to what type of game it would be. As we approached this year's E3, we were shown more and more of this title and understood what type of game it would play like. This year we were shown two more things, scale as in size and multiplayer. The boss in the demo shown was massive, it was fantastic to watch four players take down a giant octopus boss. I can't wait to team up with my buddies and take down massive monsters with our dragon pals. Number 8, Trials of the Blood Dragon. Most people will remember the name Blood Dragon from the offshoot game from Far Cry 3. That game was a huge hit amongst a pretty large fan group, but Ubisoft never saw it as a standalone title. This was further shown with Trials of the Blood Dragon as it is attached to an already established franchise. I wasn't displeased by this though as I'm a huge fan of both Trials and Blood Dragon. As a matter of fact, as of the announcement, the game was live and ready to be bought. Which it was. By me. So look forward to that review on our very channel. Number 7, Telltale Games is Batman. As a longtime fan of the Telltale games, I was both intrigued and excited to hear that Batman was getting his very own game. Now, if you know Telltale's type of storytelling, you know that they don't do action, or at least not very often. Bruce Wayne is the main focus of the game, as Batman is a detective first and a badass action hero second. Or at least that's how it's always been. I hope they explore Bruce's inner demons and show that one of the most beloved superheroes of all time is as flawed as anyone else. Number 6, Gears of War 4. I have been a long time fan of this franchise. Every iteration that comes out has been a blast and I can't wait to play the next one. This game seems to take place in the near future on Sarah, where Marcus Phoenix had a kid that's of adult age. His kid and a few other characters will fight a new threat that has yet to be established, that I've seen. There are a few new weapons that look fun and some environmental hazards I can't wait to play with. Number 5, We Happy Few. This game was a surprise during the Xbox conference. From what I can tell, from what was shown, is you play as a guy who lives in an Orwellian society where everyone takes what I could tell as joy pills. In the trailer, the player stops taking joy and begins to see the dirtiness of what's around him. I'm very excited to see where this goes and I personally love stories about broken societies. Number 4, Titanfall 2. I didn't get to play this a lot when it first came out due to not having an Xbox One. However, I was able to play a little bit before the next hot thing was released. So I'm happy I get to experience this one from the gate. In the first game, there wasn't much of a story as it was told in brief segments before a match. This time, however, we were getting a full campaign on top of an already established stellar multiplayer. Number 3, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I tend to not usually get excited about Legend of Zelda games or open world games as I get bored fairly quickly of both. However, combine the two and it's extremely exciting. During the Nintendo Treehouse Live event, they showed a lot of this game off. This is probably the most representative of what Shigeru Miyamoto envisioned back when he created the first Legend of Zelda. Complete and total exploration. Number 2, The Last Guardian. Oh boy, it, this has been a long time coming. From the depths of production hell, we finally have a release date. As a tremendous fan of Shadow of the Colossus, I have been pining for this title for a very long time. And it looks like from what was shown at the Sony press conference, this story is going to be a real tear tearjerker. It may sound strange that anyone would willingly be excited for something that they know will make them cry, but I say bring on the tears. Number 1, South Park the Fractured Butthole. Where do I begin with this one? South Park has been an enormous part of my comedic life. From the moment it aired on Comedy Central, I was 14 years old, and it became a major part of who I am. I tried to play every game that was created from South Park, but they were all terrible. It became very disappointing as time went on that South Park was never given a proper good video game. But along comes Ubisoft, with a brilliant idea, and the staff from the show 
Stick of Truth was a, was a masterpiece. So it's safe to say that the Fractured Butt Hole will be very funny and a great game. Also, it helps immensely that they're making fun of superhero movies this time around. So there we are. That is my top 10 games from E3 that I am most looking forward to. Please feel free to leave your games below. Use whatever rules you wish to use. You do not have to use the rules that I made. Also, no need for top 10. Give me 20 if you feel so inclined. If you enjoyed this list, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have convention coverage and reviews down the pipeline. And of course, thanks for watching.